What's up, millennial men? You got Corey Nice here, otherwise known as Coach Corey, and the millennial men movement, if you're new, is all about ridding this world of toxic masculinity one millennial man at a time. Through engaging in continuous self-development, through teamwork and business as a team, we will gradually but certainly help rid this world we all live in of toxic masculinity. What's going on everybody? We got practice today. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys some really, some really, what's poppin', what's up, what's up Monroe? Give me a minute. I gotta pin this video to the top of my Twitter so more people can see it. I'm going to share it around, so bear with me a minute. But as you can see on the board behind, we are going over some secrets today. So if you want to learn how to get traffic, absolutely watch today's practice video. Let's see here. I'm just sharing the video around, so bear with me. Just sharing the video. If you're a replay viewer, <clears throat> you can always tap the screen, hold the screen, and fast forward so you don't have to just stare at a blank board. But I'm gonna give you guys some, uh, hopefully this is, this is gonna be, you guys are gonna love today's presentation, all right? If you wanna learn how to make money online, this is, this is gonna kinda blow your mind. All right, this is going to open your mind up. So, all righty. So, quickly again, the Millennial Men Movement team is the business aspect of the Millennial Men Movement. As, as a team, we are working on ourselves individually and through teamwork and through business and using Power Lead System as the vehicle, we are making a debt in, in, at the toxic masculinity. We're finding the toxic masculinity as a team and the way we can best do this is brothers arm in arm uh, building you know, the team, the Lenny Men Movement team. It's all about creating wealth, learning how to you know, better yourself, bettering yourself, reading good books, um, and that kind of stuff every single day. And as we do that, like I said, one millennial man at a time, uh, we will make this world a better place. So today's lesson is traffic. This is the coaching practice today. We are going to learn about traffic, all right? Traffic is getting a visitor to check out your, your website or your link, simply put. That, that's what traffic is. <clears throat> What's going on, Kane? So I'm going to teach you guys how to get traffic, right? If you're already on the team, the simple steps are you got to get traffic to your, to your link every day. Ideally, you want to get five to ten leads through your link every day. Um, if you're in, if you really want to build a list, focus on that. If if you're if you're trying to make money fast, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna BS you guys. The fastest way to always close sales is to go out and directly network, set up appointments, get on the phone, get over your fears of on the phone, and close sales over the phone. That is the fastest way. Uh, it's sad some people are leaving. I'm giving the best advice on this video today. That is that is the best advice. Hands down, wherever I've made my most money has always been direct contact, one-to-one -one contact. It's not, you know, you can go out and get leads, try to get leads every day, and I'm going to teach you how to get leads, but man, if you want to get sales fast, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. You've got to go out and hustle direct, however you can get speaking to people face-to-face. -face. Anyway, that's the way to do it, all right? 
So there, there's a lot of ways you can get traffic. I want to make sure you guys can see the board. Um, there's a lot of different ways you, you guys can get traffic. The number one <clears throat> way I get traffic is through Twitter. There's also, <clears throat> excuse me, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, blogging, <clears throat> email marketing, you know, which is generating the leads. Uh, I want to make sure you guys can see me. It's hard to keep it all in there. So there's a lot of ways you guys can you guys can get traffic. Um, I'm going to touch lightly on all the different ways. Instagram, even Pinterest. I'm going to touch lightly on these different... Uh, <clears throat> oh, my allergies are bad today. I'm going to touch lightly on the difference... Uh, the different platforms, all right? So the first the first way is is Twitter. Twitter is like the water cooler talk of of the online world. Twitter is like the the cocktail party. You you go on Twitter to jump into conversations. You go there to speak your voice, let your opinion be heard. That's what Twitter's for. Everyone's, you know, sharing their their voice, however they do it. And the biggest difference is on these platforms, you have a certain amount of times that are normal to post per day. With Twitter, in my opinion, right? In my opinion, you, on Twitter, you can post up to, I mean, honestly, 25 to, to 50 times a day or more. A lot of days, I post well over, I tweet well over 50 times in any given 24-hour period. So, just so you guys know... Um, those are the, the biggest differences between Twitter and these other platforms is the, let's see, I bet you, no, actually I probably didn't. Um, I've had days where I've tweeted, I used to schedule out a couple hundred tweets a day. So there's days where I've tweeted over a couple hundred times. Um, and I don't know, maybe I did, you know, who knows, maybe I did, I got the, the Twitter record. But anyway, Facebook, it's like one to four times a day. Like occasionally, if you're tweeting at like if you're if you're posting at two in the morning, and then you post again at like seven in the morning, you're you're posting you're posting different content. <clears throat> so I recommend uh, a way to get content up <clears throat> is by sharing quotes and stuff like that. That always helps. You don't want to just post quotes. You want to get your own voice out too. People want to know who the person is behind the profile, but. Um, you'll see me, I like to post a lot of quotes that vibe with my market. Um, so with Facebook, you, you only, you only post like a few times a day, 200, 300, oh, that 200 or 300 tweets of quotes. I mean, you could do half of them quotes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend 200 to 300, uh, the amount of tweets you want to go out a day. I would, I would recommend, uh, 30 to 50 a day. That, that's what I would recommend. And it's different for everybody. Everybody's got a different brand and business. Right? So when you see me tweet, I, I tweet to get leads. I don't just tweet to tweet and toot my own horn or randomly retweet a million people. I see a lot of... Let's go over a couple common mistakes before I move on to, to these other platforms. On Twitter, mistake number one I notice is people retweet all the time. You don't want your timeline to be full of retweets. Um... Leads for products, yeah, for yeah, power lead system product, uh, services, coaching, whatever you're selling. What about generated tweets? Uh, I don't know what you mean by generated tweets exactly. Um, I automate a lot of my tweets. That's a service that I run, so I'll tweet about that. Um, I'll automate a lot of my tweets. I automate tweets for a handful of clients. Um, yeah, automated tweets. That's the way to go. There's no way. You, I mean, unless you got time, you probably don't have time to do 50 tweets a day. Um, even, even I wouldn't, um, and and I got pretty fast fingers, and I know how to use Twitter really well. I've I've used Twitter for years, so that's how the re I can speak on it um, with more authority. Maybe you could say because I've used Twitter for years, so that's the only reason that I can uh, talk about that. I, I've used it since. Since 2013, um, I, I've been using it pretty consistently for like the last four, four and a half years. So I've learned what works and what doesn't work on Twitter. Um, 
So with Twitter, like I was saying, you can post a lot. I noticed your tweets don't have retweets or likes. How, how have you made money from tweeting? So that's, that's another good point. I might not always get tons of engagement. It depends how you define engagement. But I get lots of leads and I'm building, I'm building my brand deep. Like when people are on my page, I might only get a few likes. But some of the people that are liking my content are already clients. They're already customers. Or they're people that, you know, what's more valuable? Tweet one time and get, you know, 15 retweets or tweet one tweet and get one reply and then you sign up a customer for 100 bucks or whatever you're selling, right? So it's not about engagement. Don't get lost. I mean, engagement's important. That's a part of the overall equation, but it's engagement's not as, as I've got a lot of questions. I'm just going to write them down so I don't. Oh yeah, you, you guys are fine. You can eat all, you can ask all the questions you want. Uh, I like this. It does. It's a lot better for me. Um, engagement's important, but it's not as important as what most people will make it out to be. Generally, you don't you don't need to have a, any engagement. You know, you you can be closing sales without engagement because what's most important is what's going on behind the scenes. What's going on in the DMs? What's going on behind the scenes? That's what people don't see. What, what you see, what the public sees on my page is like 50 tweets and occasionally I get one that gets like 10 or 20 retweets, which in my mind, that's a lot of engagement uh, for a regular person, a regular user. I get that a lot. I get that often. And I have multiple pages as well. So that's not even, we're not even talking about that. But what you don't see, about, what you don't see is me messaging 300 people in a day. You don't see me having buying conversations with the select amount of people that are very targeted that are, that are, I do Twitter coaching, that are asking about getting results with Twitter, right? So a lot of my content that when it goes out, like I, I only get a couple likes, this guy was saying, which is true, but... I'm closing sales and bringing people into my business and as my coaching business <clears throat> because I'm, I'm networking with those targeted people that do engage with my content. I hope that makes sense. To enable to use Twitter to sell anything you want. Yeah, you can use Twitter to sell anything you want. I've, I've used it to bring people into Power Lead System, which is the vehicle for the Millennial Men movement. So you can do that. Uh, I've also used it to sell like Twitter coaching, regular coaching. I coach on all kinds of topics. Closing, sales, marketing, networking, you know, for any business. It's social media. Twitter is the platform to use for anything you want. So I teach, I teach those skills. Lead generation, the ba those basic skills. Um, setting up funnels, websites, the basic stuff like that. Because that's, that's where I have real world experience in. I also do a, a dump for you tweet service, so I go out and I tweet for people that that want me to do that for them. I've also, um, you know, I get followers for people. I know how to get followers quickly. I know where the the right people are. So I use my knowledge and my experience to to sell myself on on Twitter. And I had a guy a long time ago say the same thing about, you know, you're hardly getting any engagement, but it's looks are deceiving. Looks are deceiving. What am I trying to sell if I, I tweet? I, 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 I don't know what you mean by that, if I tweet so much. So looks can be deceiving. If you're a replay viewer, don't just like you can't judge a book by its cover. You might check someone's Twitter out and they get hardly any engagement and they got like 100,000 followers. But you have no idea. They could be making bank. They, they could be growing a massive business because uh, it's... It's not about how much engagement you get. It's about how many sales you're closing. And you close the sales over the phone, right? It's like what Tony Robbins says. What gets, what gets awarded in public is from what comes, is from what's done in private so often. So the money-making skills, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, because I really want to give you guys value, the money-making skills is closing sales. Like I'm a closer. I can get on the phone and close almost anybody I talk to because I've studied it, because I've been coached, 
Because I've done hundreds of calls. So that